the bill has come to you. He's so dramatic. Oh, this queen. Oh, I don't want to die! Oh, God! Please! Oh, no! Hi, everyone. How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. And if you happen to be new here, welcome. My name is Chachi, and today I am watching episode 9 of Our Flag Means Death. Y'all, we are down to the final two episodes of this season, and right now things aren't looking very good because the crew of the Revenge, they've been captured by the English Navy thanks to Izzy and Spanish Jackie. Speaking of Jackie, it seems like Jackie and Jim have come to an agreement and are not going to try to kill each other. Um, Jackie killed her most recent husband, who was also a member of that gang, the Siete Gaios, and Jackie also claims that the other five are probably already dead because of the lives they lead. So I'm not sure if Jim is going to leave it there and possibly try to come back to the revenge and in that maybe rescue them? I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, before we begin, a quick reminder that because of copyright, you're not going to get every scene in this video. I have to cut it down due to copyright. However, if you want the full reaction, the full unedited experience, You'll find that over on my Patreon, but for now, let's get into it. Thank you all so much for being here, and this is my reaction to episode 9 of Our Flag Means Death. Recognize this. Yeah, it's fucking badass. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is. Uh, do you have a translator? I have very little English. I also don't speak English as well. I'm a strong reader slash writer, so in case you're hiring after all of this. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Out for himself, it's on brand for him. <laughs> How is your brother, Nigel? Is he... is he well? As a matter of fact, Nigel's decidedly... unwell. Really, Steve? <laughs> I have it on very good authority that he was on board this vessel. I don't know Chauncey is intense, rightfully so his brother died. from the witnesses. Twin brother. To his murder. <laughs> oh gosh. What is he gonna do to him? Are you holding yourself like that? I look in for Steed's journal for evidence. Well, there's nothing we can do about that now. Oh my god, Lucius is trying to protect him! Give it here. Look, trust me, I was born for this kind of espionage. Arkham, do it! Oh god, don't get killed for it though! Oh god, Frenchie. Distraction. Distraction. What's your problem? Darky. Oh, oh this. <laughs> yes, bitch. <laughs> That's a distraction. <laughs> Hello. Let's see. My wondrous journey, a life at sea. A bit of fan fiction. Captain Bonnet. Exactly. Nothing to see here. I mean, I'd like to take it, actually. <laughs> oh, no. Get back. Yeah, he's not buying it. Damn it, Frenchie! <laughs> you should have left it to Lucius. He would have taken care of the job. Blackbeard confessed to the crime moments ago. He did? Oh yep. my god. Bastard. He's taking the far. You know, I mean, life is cheap. I mean, he has the reputation, right, to do this. If he was. If true. One of them had done it, they'd believe that it was Blackbeard, not Steed. Honestly, it makes much more sense, after all. You're just some bored little rich boy. Exactly. And that's all you'll ever be, Steve Bonnet. We're back to this. And who he is, his struggle, with his like past. Oh? I murdered Nigel. He's gonna own it. <laughs> you'll sign a confession to that extent. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> So he was gonna let Blackbeard take the fall. I love that too. Edward Teach, a friend of the Crown, has prevailed upon me what? to remand you to his custody. <laughs> he shall be released to Captain Hands. <gasps> Izzy, of course. Izzy saves him. Oh, a friend of the Crown, really, Izzy. We'll find a way out of this, okay? Hey, no, no, I deserve this. The bill has come to you. He's so dramatic. The oh queen. I don't want to die! Oh god! Please! Oh no! I know you're upset, but it was the only- Yes, bitch! 
Yes! Do it again. Hit him again. Fucking traitor. That's fair. Yeah, it's fair. And I was never gonna stand by and let you destroy yourself for that twat. So you sold out. It's clear. What? No, what's gonna happen? Would you know that? Look at the act of grace! What? What? Act of grace? What's this? Some kind of rule? Any pirate who so abandons his life of crime shall be granted amnesty forthwith. So he's pledging himself to the crown? So he's basically kneeling to the king, right? The offer doesn't extend to you, Bonnet. What? After all, the king was only referring to real pirates. No, oh, okay, whatever. Raise your rifles! Oh. Well, that didn't work. On. June the 3rd, an excellent day. Raided a commercial vessel after- Proof that he's a pirate. Yes, Lucius! Here's an illustration for reference. <laughs> and here's Illustrations! An illustration in question. <laughs> Plants. A man is a fearsome pirate. Have I ever seen one? Oh, Ooh, the crew's coming. Yep. They're, yeah, exactly. they're supporting him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're backing him up. Yeah, yeah, this is what he's dreamed of. I'd attribute quite a lot of it to a people positive management style. Exactly. <laughs> Stand down, Admiral, or we'll be forced to take measures. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, we've somehow drifted south of the equator and ended up in backwards land. <laughs> oh God, it's losing it. Have you all? Okay. Poor bugger. This is just embarrassing. Oh yeah, dude. Just think what you're doing, Ed. Do you really want to lick the king's boots? Isn't that what you did, bitch? Private Sharing Academy Ezekiel. for Wayward Seamen! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. According to these records, Steve Bonnet's been deceased for months. Oh. His wife. His wife pronounced, like, had him declared dead? Wife Mary Bonnet. Yeah. She yeah. lied about what happened to him. Some odd coincidence? He's dead to his family, right? They declared him dead. I wonder if they had a funeral. Would it be an empty- Oh! What? <laughs> what have they done with your face? Oh my god, he's shaved! Yeah, the beard wasn't regulation, so I had to go. <gasps> Feels weird. Oh no! He's still cute. Very handsome. You've kept the clippings, haven't you? So we can make fake heads and escape. There is no escape. Now it's time to accept our fate. Really? But what about the crew? Who's the new captain? What's happening over there? The thing about Captain Hans is, he's tough, yeah, but also- Oh, this bitch took over the revenge, of course. I should have guessed. It's just that as his revenge sounds a bit like an intestinal condition. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I wonder what the condition of your intestine might be after, say, no rations for a week? He's fun, Any isn't other he? funny bits? Yeah, I don't think so. Where's Lucius to put him in his place, please? Oh, I don't want a boat, Steve. His decision to leave her and the kids is really Big deal. I'm glad that we're coming back to this because it's it's huge what he did, that decision he made. The fake heads idea wasn't bad. Oh, come on. How are you handling this so well? They're so cute. Right now, I just want to do what makes Ed happy. And what makes Ed happy? Being with you? I reckon what makes Ed happy is say it. Say it. You. Ah. Oh. Yes. Well, that's. Uh... <gasps> <laughs> he gets. <gasps> oh my God. You make Steve happy. Oh. 
Yeah, I did not expect that. I did not expect that. Get away. Start over, reset. But you said there was no escape. There's always an escape. Aha, uh -huh, that's his plan. He wants to run away with him. What do you say? I know we never would have chosen. <sighs> he ran away before. Is he tired of running all away? We have is one life. Yeah. Mary's words, all we have is that of this one life. That's all we have. I think so. So yes. he's going to live it. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's already dead to his family, right? I guess. Think up some new names. Cool ones. He's so happy. He's so happy. I don't know. I don't know. I feel I feel like this or something could happen though. I'm scared. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Chauncey. Chauncey's gonna kill him. You're a monster. You defile beautiful things. My dear brother. Your own family. God. He's breaking uh, Steve down. This is not what he needs to hear. His entire life he's heard this. I think you're right. No. I completely agree. <sighs> you don't fool me. He the does agree though. It's so sad that he does. <laughs> Like his brother. <laughs> oh my god, Steve, though. Oh no, he's not gonna show up. He's not gonna show up, is he? Oh no. Stayed. Stayed. He's gonna stay. He's gonna stay because he doesn't think he deserves this. He, he's not gonna run away again. Like I thought. Oh, the sun is coming up. No. Oh, is he? I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> They're throwing Izzy overboard. They're gonna kill Izzy. <gasps> Black Pierce! Black Pierce the ship! Just in time to save him. Take Tia Maru. He went back. He went back. What happened to his beard? But they could they could come together and go save Steed, right? They can still do something. What? He went home. He went home. That's where he went. You try to make it right? I don't know. Darling. <gasps> I'm home. She could be remarried or something though. Steed! Oh my god. Yeah. This episode. Oh my god, y'all. Yeah. This episode. Oh my god, the emotions. And that ending. Oh god, that ending. I. <laughs> I don't know what I expected this episode. I mean, I didn't. I, I don't know. Um, I honestly, though, I was kind of expecting Jim to sort of be the hero here and coming back and like finding a way to sort of save them because I didn't know exactly what was going to happen. And then, of course, this whole act of grace thing was just a, a really big twist that set the episode in a completely different, expected, unexpected direction for me. So now we have Steed and and Blackbeard um, at this place where they're going to be, I guess, um, serving as, I guess, serving in, I don't know, the army or whatever for the king on behalf of the king. Um, but to see Blackbeard sort of just change and accept the situation for what it was and have these plans to sort of run away, start a new life with Steed and, and, and it's such a dream, isn't it? I mean, both Steed and Blackbeard, of course, are very close. They, they, they can truly be 100% themselves together. It, it just feels so perfect, and it felt a little too perfect for me. I, I was still very concerned, but very happy about the situation. And then the kiss! Oh, God, the kiss was so unexpected. I, of course, am expecting the kiss between them. I mean, it's sort of what we've been coming towards, sort of, you know, something I really want to see. 
but I didn't expect it until maybe the finale, if it even happened. But then it just happened and I was completely shocked and it was like the perfect moment for it too. And I, just, I was just, it was just so much happening because you see all this hope in Blackbeard and he's talked about wanting to move on past the life of, of the persona. And you can tell like now that he doesn't have to be Blackbeard, he literally shaved his beard off because he had to, but still it was like a weight lift, lifted off of him, right? He no longer had to live up to that that reputation. He no longer had those responsibilities. He was someone who could just basically do anything and he wanted to leave with Steed and do that anything with him and only him. That's what he wanted. That was his dream. Um, but Steed, unfortunately, is just going through his own shit. He has a whole lot going on in his head because of, of course, the, the biggest thing being the fact that he abandoned his wife and his kids and you know, at the beginning of this season, that really bothered me about Steed, and I, I, I expected this to be addressed further. And now we're here, and we're dealing with it. And I'm happy that he chose to go home and face it. Um, I'm sad, in the same respect, that fortunately, he didn't communicate with Blackbeard, let him know that he had to go home, he just sort of left on his own. So Blackbeard thinks that Steed doesn't really care for him in the same way, doesn't give a damn about this dream. And so now Blackbeard has returned back to the revenge. Just in time to save Izzy, damn it. But um, <laughs> he's returned back to the revenge and take his place as Blackbeard again. <sighs> so Steed is now home, facing his wife, who is not very happy to see him. Clearly. I'm wondering what she's been up to. I don't even know how long it's been. Um, maybe she's remarried. She seems to be happy up until she sees her husband. So, um, yeah, are his kids going to even want to see him? How old are they? Are they, are they still the same age? I'm not entirely sure how much time has passed. But um, in the end, I am very pleased and satisfied with the fact that Steed has gone home to face this because this is a responsibility that he just threw away. Now, when it comes to him and his decision to leave, the part that bothered me the most was that he had kids. Of course, if he didn't want the marriage, fine, you know, just leave, whatever. Of course, he left the note, which is kind of shitty, but still, there were kids involved. And because there were kids involved, it's just a different kind of level. It could be a different, it's, it's traumatic for the kids. They don't have a dad anymore. They just, he just left them and they did love him. You know, they, they got along. Um, so, I'm happy, in the end, that he's come back to face the consequences of his action. But what does that mean for him? What does that mean for Blackbeard and the crew of The Revenge? How is this all going to come together in this final episode? I am dying to know, so I guess we'll find out very soon. Anyway, thank you for watching and putting up for my emotional roller coaster of a ride this episode. It was just, oh my god, it was everything. Um, I'm so impressed by this show. I've said it again. I'll, I'll keep saying it. It's just so much fun. There hasn't been an episode that's been boring or interesting. There's been no filler. It's just been perfect, in my opinion. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you want to watch the full reaction to this video, you'll find that over on my Patreon. And I'll see you all next time for the finale of Season 1 of Our Flag Means Death. But until then, I'll see you all next time. Adiós.